it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is time for the Cut to You Cut of the Month layout for the month of September. So this month's layout is made using the Daisy Floral background. So that is the cut file for this month. So the way this works is, um, it's a monthly subscription. It's super inexpensive and you get a beautifully designed cut file uh, every month delivered to your inbox. So uh, this is this month. And originally when I saw this, I was like, you know what I want to do with this? I think I want to use it as a stencil. So I didn't center it on my uh, mat or anything. So it's kind of cut wonky. And then once I got it cut out, I was like, oh my gosh, this is just gorgeous, just how it is. And I want to put it on this like ombre wave background. And uh, it's just stunning. So uh, because it was kind of cut uh, not in the center of the paper, I had to trim it down, which actually worked out better because I really like the look of the matting of the same paper. So I have this photo of my son. Uh, this was when we were in Alaska and, uh, this was, I think the triple lakes hike in Denali. And this was, don't know what number lake this was, uh, but whatever it was, it was the time that we decided to stop and have lunch. And then after lunch, we just kind of hung out and my son looks like he took a nap. I, I don't think he actually did take a nap, but it does kind of look that way. So um, he's kind of laying in some it almost kind of looks like a field and then there's some yellow flowers. So I decided that the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Lemon Twist collection was going to be perfect to bring in those pops of yellow. And uh, because this background is kind of like, you know, a field of flowers, I just felt like it worked perfect just how it was. So I knew I wanted to use this kind of film strip frame. I'm not going to use it as a film strip. I'm actually just going to use it kind of as a layering piece off to the left. So I kind of put that down and then I grab my photo and I'm going to mat it uh, with three thin layers. So I'm going to start with the white to pull in the color of the background cut file. And then I'm going to bring in some yellow. That's a Vicki Booten paper. And then the floral that is the final layer is a pink fresh paper. So because I am layering my photo on this frame set, I know that I need to put some fun foam on at least half of it so that it is equal across. And so I'm going to put that down and then I'm going to start my embellishing. So I'm going to start with the foam stickers and I'm going to grab uh, a floral to go on the right hand side. And then I'm going to add two words. Uh, they're going to be best sunshine for my title. There's quite a bit of sky in this photo. And so I thought that it worked good to set part of the title on the top and then uh, on the bottom the rest. So I also pull a couple of these bees. They're super cute. Uh, I don't remember if there were bees flying around, but bees and flowers I feel like go really well together. So I'm going to put a couple of those around I'm going to find a die cut that says squeeze the day, which works perfect because there is a lemon in that uh, frame there. So I'm going to put that there. I'm also going to find a foam sticker that says happy day. I'm going to add a couple of foam hearts around as well as a foam butterfly. 
And then I'm going to finish it off with a couple of these uh, fake brads. I have one that says Sweet Spot and then one that is a butterfly. So I really was thinking that I needed a third one, uh, but ultimately I just stick with the two. So that is pretty much going to do it for this layout. I think I'm just going to glue everything down. So uh, I will have the information for the cut of the month club down below. And uh, that way you can get signed up so that you can get these exclusive cut files every month and then share it in the Facebook group so we can see what you are doing with them. Uh, this will be posted in uh, the Facebook group as well. Um, it is a public Facebook group for everyone. Um, and oh, <laughs> I guess I didn't put enough fun foam on the back of this. I flipped it over because actually I forgot to glue it all down. I forgot that the main element was not glued down. So um, I did have to flip that over, add the fun foam. And I'm going to add some tape runner, but I'm also going to add some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive because it's pretty heavy with three pattern papers, a photo, and a frame, plus all of the uh, sticky foam. That's just a lot of weight. So sometimes I hang them on my wall and I, I have noticed that sometimes if they're hanging on the wall, they will, uh, fall down if it, if it's not stuck with Nouveau Deluxe. So that's what I'm doing here is just making sure that it is glued all down. So that is going to do it for my layout today. Make sure, um, that you see what the rest of the design team is doing over in the Facebook group. Give everybody some love today. Oh, I also uh, did this in conjunction with Scrap Timber and the 16th was a cut file. So that worked really well. So I will also have the playlist for uh, Scrap Timber listed down below so you can uh, check that out as well. So here are a couple of close-ups of that beautiful cut file. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I love to chat with you. I read every single one of them and uh, respond when appropriately. So remember to wear your crown and we'll see you next month. Bye!